This is a quick video of the 1280 Express Scale Color Touchscreen Process Controller. In the upper left hand corner we have the uh, configuration key and it's used to access the calibration menus. The next key over is a virtual keypad. If you touch that button it opens up a virtual keypad where you can do uh, different functions. Also there's a keypad on the controller below the screen with regular hard buttons. Here is the time and date. If we press on it, it opens up a screen where you can set your time and date. The date. And these are the scale arrows. Currently at this time they have no function. Here we have the Wi-Fi symbol. It indicates the Wi-Fi strength. Also, if you press on it, it displays the network information screen so that you can connect this controller to your uh, network, either wired, Wi-Fi, or a Wi-Fi Direct. Wi-Fi Direct uh, actually enables the controller as a, uh, a router itself to connect directly um, or connect to connect directly to a Wi-Fi network. Pressing in the scale area here will bring up the quick access to the target weight to make quick changes to the target weight and to the slow fill weight and also the free fall weight. To exit out, we just press the exit button. We have the on off button, turns the scale on and off. We have hold run, if the scale is in the hold position. The weight hopper will not discharge unless the manual discharge key is pressed. If it's in the run position, the weight hopper will discharge at weight complete if the bag and place input is present. Manual discharge will manually discharge the weigh hopper for the amount of time in the discharge duration. And the tolerance accept button acknowledges an out of tolerance weighment and allows it to discharge. Here we are showing what current product is selected. It's product 001. Uh, we have 100 products, 001 through 100. Um, you're able to give it a custom name, uh, 25, uh, 25 alphanumeric characters and symbols. We have the bag count for the currently selected product, and we have the current bags per minute. Over here, we're displaying the model of scale, the version of programming, and the express scale part serial number. If you call us and want to speak to a technician or a part salesman, please have this information on hand to provide us to help us help you better. The product select key allows the operator to select a product from the list of available product IDs. Here you can see I've keyed in the first five uh, products and given them a name. I'm just going to go ahead and select product one again. The setup key and key in the password of 4787. The setup password allows the uh, supervisor to create a custom four digit password. It's not recommended to change from the default password but may be necessary in certain cases to keep unwanted operators from accessing to the setup menu. Once again, the default password is 4787. The data string opens an entry window where the data string format can be customized. If you have this set up to uh, your network through the connection, um, 
you can customize the string that is going to be sent out to the computer. In this case, we have the scale number, the gross weight, and then a carriage return. But you can add these in any uh, any uh, increments that you want to to customize your string. Master count just displays the master count and is non-resettable. The product setup opens up the list of the 100 products. Here we can use the page down key to scroll through the available products and page up to go the other direction. The reports key transmits the selected product ID's report statistics out of the COM port and displays the option to clear the statistics which will also reset the bag counter at the main menu for the selected product. So if we click on reports, I'll select the product. You can see it turned red. I'll go to reports. And even though we're not connected to the network, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes so that I can clear the bag counter that you saw at the main menu. I'm going to select the same product again and go down to edit entry. The product name allows a custom name to be created for the product ID up to 25 alphanumeric characters and symbols. The target weight is the desired final weight. The slow fill weight determines how much of the final target weight will be slow fill. The, value, the free fall weight is the value deducted from the final target weight to allow for product and suspension. Fast fill gate percentage is the percentage of the gate opening during fast fill. These, that last uh, uh, parameter and this one are uh, optional dependent on what model of scale you have. The slow fill gate percentage is the, gate, the percentage of the gate opening during the slow fill. The fast fill feeder speed is the speed of the feeder during fast fill. And the slow fill feeder speed is the speed of the feeder during the slow fill. Once again, those last four parameters are optional. They may not display on your controller depending on the model of scale that uh, you have. The start fill delay is the amount of time delay before the next filling cycle begins to allow for the way hopper doors to fully close. Discharge duration is the amount of time the way hopper doors stay open to allow the product to exit from the hopper. Bag clamp delay is the amount of delay before the bag is released after the discharge has been performed. This is also an optional parameter dependent on the uh, scale that you have. Auto free fall automatically adjusts the free fall parameter. Free fall start adjustment is how many times in a row the auto free fall is performed when the scale is first turned on. Free auto free fall frequency adjustment is how often the auto free fall is performed after the free fall start adjustment has finished. Auto zero automatically performs a zero before the next filling cycle begins. Auto zeros at start is how many times in a row the auto zero is performed when the scale is first turned on. Frequency of zero, auto zero is how often the auto zero is performed after the zeros at start has finished. Tolerance check automatically checks the weight to see if it falls within the set tolerance range. Positive tolerance weight sets the positive tolerance range above the target weight. Negative tolerance weight sets the negative tolerance range below the target weight. Tolerance check counter 
is how often the tolerance check is performed. Multi dump, multi multiple discharges can be made into one container, such as super sacks or totes, without having to reset the bag and place switch. Multi dump delay is the amount of delay required between multi dumps to keep the product from bridging or hanging up in the exiting transition. Multiple multi dump cycles, the number of discharges that will be made when multi, multi dump is turned on. Weight spike delay is the time delay that the weight reading will not be observed at the beginning of slow fill to allow for weight spikes. Fast filter is weight filtering during fast fill. A larger number will set a stronger filter. Slow filter is the weight filtering during slow. And idle filter is the weight filtering at weight complete or idle state. Data string enables, enables the data string to be sent out of the COM port. And data string frequency counter is how often the data string is sent out of the COM port. That was the last parameter. Um, we can exit out of here if any changes need to be made. Back to the main screen, you see that we don't have a product selected yet, so we'll go back in select our default product and we're ready to run the scale.